the White House, an important Soviet visitor pays a call on the president. First, Deputy Premier Frol Kozlov, accompanied by Russian Ambassador Menshikov, meets for more than an hour with Mr. Eisenhower and Secretary of State Herter. Little known in this country, Kozlov promises to become a familiar figure before the end of his U.S. tour. Considered to be the Kremlin's number three man, he seems to have a politician's way with a handshake and a smile. At another meeting, the president honors a retiring fellow soldier. General Maxwell D. Taylor, outgoing Army Chief of Staff, is decorated in the presence of his wife and the First Lady with his third Distinguished Service Medal. There's not much room left, is there, remarks the chief executive to the heavily beribboned general. It's the end of a distinguished military career for the 57-year-old World War II paratroop commander. <laughs>